we want to determine the indefinite integral. We have the integral of the eighth power of sine x times the fifth power of cosine x. Since we have an odd power of cosine, we save one factor of cosine and convert the remaining factors of cosine to sine. So let's first write the integral as the integral of the eighth power of sine x times, let's write the fifth power of cosine x as the fourth power of cosine x times cosine x. And I'll convert the fourth power of cosine x to sines using the identity cosine squared x equals one minus sine squared x, which gives us the integral of the eighth power of sine x times the square of one minus sine squared x. Notice how because cosine squared is equal to one minus sine squared x, the fourth power of cosine x is equal to the square of the quantity one minus sine squared x. And then we still have cosine x dx. And now let's perform u substitution by letting u equal sine x, and therefore differential u is equal to cosine x dx. This is the reason why we saved one factor of cosine x. And now let's write the integral in terms of u. We have the integral of u to the eighth times the square of one minus u squared, differential u. And now it's square one minus u squared. Let's do this on the side. We have one minus u squared minus u squared, which is minus two u squared, and then plus u to the fourth, which gives us the integral of u to the eighth times the quantity one minus two u squared plus u to the fourth, differential u. And now let's distribute u to the eighth which gives us the integral of u to the eighth minus two u to the tenth plus u to the twelfth differential u. And now let's continue on the next slide. Integrating with respect to u, we have u to the ninth divided by nine minus two times u to the eleventh divided by eleven plus u to the thirteenth divided by thirteen plus c. The last step is to rewrite this in terms of x by substituting sine x for u. Let's write the final antiderivative as one ninth times the ninth power of sine x minus two elevenths times the eleventh power of sine x plus one thirteenth times the thirteenth power of sine x plus c. I hope you found this helpful.